won't we? And with it being the first day of fall, you're probably thinking about the fall activities. You may want to think what Halloween's going to look like for your family this year. The CDC is out with recommendations about how we celebrate, and most of our favorite activities are not recommended this year. It broke down things we do on Halloween into low, moderate, and high risk activities. And high risks include trick or treating, trunk or treating, going to a crowded party, or an indoor haunted house. Instead, think of ways to do the things that you want, but within your social circle. So for example, we are going to have a, a party. It's going to be very small with just a few people. The kids are going to go ahead and decorate our hot house. They are going to do pumpkins. They are going to wear costumes. Because it's within our social circle, they can actually wear the mask that goes with the costume. That's Dr. Jill Roberts with USF Health. She's sharing what her family is going to do this Halloween. She joins the CDC in warning against going house to house and encouraging kids to come to your house. She says if you really want to go out, remember to have your kids wear a mask and consider the CDC guidance on moderate risk. That would be to have grab and go baggies with candy ready for the kids to walk by and just take one. You can see all the low, moderate and high risk activities in this story right now on 10tampabay.com.